If there was ever a textbook example as to why we need the Voting Rights Act, Texas demonstrated it uh, in everything they did in this last legislative cycle. Next time you head to the polls, you'll have to show a photo ID. Republicans say it is necessary to prevent voter fraud, but Democrats say it's designed to discourage minorities and the poor from voting. Voter ID in the course of this last decade, Texas grew by 4.2 million Texans. 89.1% of all of that growth was minority. 65% of that growth alone, Hispanic. You mean in the dorm? I would say it was discriminatory in, in uh, some sense. I do feel like people were trying to um, keep uh, the voice of Hispanic people and other um, minorities, their voice down. Nicole and Victoria, um, not too unique for this part of San Antonio, um, are uh, high school students that don't have a driver's license. And the reason they don't have a driver's license is because in order to get a driver's license, their mother would have to put them on their car insurance, uh, which would have a significant financial burden on the family. Um, so they've gone through life with their student IDs and uh, were admitted to college and have gone through life without having to drive. I was able to use my student ID on the airplane when they flew us out to D.C. And I was able to get into the hotel just with my student ID. And I was able to get into the district court just with my student ID. But I wasn't allowed to use it to vote. The Republican leadership chose exactly what documents were going to be valid. That we could use a concealed handgun license as a valid form of ID to vote. But we couldn't use a state employee ID. We couldn't use a college university ID. Uh, and they never gave us a good reason as to why. But when this law was passed, Texas knew from the very beginning that 795,000 Texans were registered to vote that did not have a state driver's license, a state-issued ID, nor did they have a state concealed handgun license. Well, the Justice Department has rejected the new photo ID requirements for voters in Texas. When you have federal judges that are unanimous in finding discrimination and voter dilution and retrogression and all the things that the Voting Rights Act seeks to prevent, uh, it's not a coincidence. Uh, and so it's, it's very important that we have tools like the Voting Rights Act and that is probably why it has always been reauthorized.